representing Bhutan International School Village. My model name is Solar Drip Irrigation System based on the topic Modern Recycling Practices. Energy is the most important part of a life. There are many types of energy converted from one form to another, but the main source of energy is sunlight. Sunlight energy is also converted into so many types, such as plants get the energy by the process of photosynthesis, sunlight energy converted into heat energy, etc. Today, I will show you how light energy is used for solar drip irrigation system. Sunlight energy is converted into electrical energy by photovoltaic panel PV. Then this electrical energy is stored in the battery in form of chemical energy. The mechanical energy drives the motor. When we will require the water stored in the tank as potential energy for irrigation, it will flow as kinetic energy. This is the drip tube through which the water is flowing. Solar drip irrigation is the best solution which has been developed for saving water. The main goal of solar drip irrigation is to transport the water to the roots of the plants directly, then to pour it on the soil and then it gets evaporated till an extent. It is the alternative way to store water and minerals which are provided to plantations without any wastage. Solar drip irrigation is an economic method of irrigation. Apart from solar drip irrigation, this photovoltaic panel PV is also used for glowing the light. Light is the main necessity of all human beings. By this photovoltaic panel, the electric burner is also getting on. Now I will tell you the materials which are required for solar drip irrigation. First there is photovoltaic panel PV. Then there is a battery which has two terminals. The positive terminal is cathode and the negative terminal is anode. Anode is the electrode where the electricity moves into and cathode is the electrode where electricity is given out or flowed out. This is the motor. This is the pipe. This is the water storage tank in which the water is stored. This is the tube through which the water is getting transported into the field. This is valve, filter. These are the drip tubes. There are many benefits of solar drip irrigation. Such as, by this process we can save water and we can save money. It is pollution free, it can be handled easily. It is environment friendly. It is not dangerous to human beings and in this process the water is used efficiently, weed growth is less, soil erosion is also lessened and it is the best solution for the areas with water scarcity. Now I will tell you the materials which are required for making this model. My model name is Natural Farm. This is the entrance kit which is made by ice cream sticks which are easily available at home. This is the hut and the roof of hut is made by coconut shell. This is the house for all the animals living in this farm. This is also made by ice cream sticks.
This is the PowerPoint which is made by Waste Box. These two are the containers which are not used in kitchen anymore. I have used this to make water storage tank and a well. All these trees, animals and the, this doll and all the people living in this village are all my toys. This is the farm. I made this farm by taking a tree and that I poured some soil and planted chickpea beans and watered it daily and kept it in sunlight. After a few days, the plants grew. Solar rep irrigation is becoming popular for rock rock irrigation where the water is limited. Thus, Solar drip irrigation is considered the best solution for area with water scarcity. Conserve energy to preserve future. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Sharon Bakshi and I am studying in grade 8 Maskara Chari. I had made a project on plastic recycling. As you know, there is very much big plastic present in the world. So, we are recycling it and making it useful products. When there are trucks, comes by taking household plastics or uh, industrial plastics. Oh, they are separated into two main uh, two main categories, light lead plastic and multi lead plastic. In light lead plastic, it comes polythene bags, remotes, etc. And in multi lead plastic, it comes buckets, mugs, tanks, etc. As it is hard lead. So the light lead plastic can be easily grinded. So they are directly put it into the grinder machine. Yes, this grinder grinds everything and then the grinded plastic moves into the heater where it is melted about 400 degree, 480 degree Celsius in not presence of the oxygen. If there is presence of oxygen, the whole plant will burn and the plastic will be not melted and then the melted plastic is moved into the mixer where the mixer mixes kerosene in it. Well, then after mixing the kerosene, it is ready to make bitumen roads and the plastic in this plastic products. Then our trucks transport the plastic, the uh, raw material of this plastic to make the roads and some of the plastic goes into the industries to make again the plastic products. And then remaining is the multi layer plastic or hard layer plastic. It is deposited into crude oil machine. where the plastic is grinded very uh, very very thinly and then mix it mix some material uh, chemicals and after mixing some chemicals it is it it get converted into the crude oil as you know women in still in towns are are using firewood to make food to boil water etc etc so this crude oil is transported is transported to them for making food products etc for free and this plant take very little take very little cost to be set up and it saves a huge amount of plastic thank you